What's up YouTube? Today we have a disassemble on a 5.7 Dodge Hemi. To start, I'm going to remove those 8 mm not bolts, not uh, bolts on the valve cover, guys. On the valve covers, it's gonna be eight millimeters. Let me go ahead and remove it. Okay, now for the push rod assembly, it's gonna be a ten millimeters. We're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna get the the push rod assembly. So after we get this out, we're gonna get the push rod. As you can see, it takes two ties, one short, one long. Short, long. Also, we had to inspect the top, see how polished it is. This are trash, it's supposed to be replaced. Again, the push rods, one is short, one is long, and then you see it, it's crown or polished right on the top. We, we, we can see it's been worn out, so this must be replaced. So this has to be replaced. Now let me go ahead and remove the head. Okay, now to remove the head bolts. We are going to need a 15 millimeter socket. There you go. 15 millimeters. If you are a big dog, you're going to use an impact. If you are a little puppet, you're going to use the braking bar. So let's go ahead and remove the 15 bolts. 15 millimeters. Let's put it loose and then move the head. Okay, now that the 15 millimeters are loose, now we can remove the bolts. It's gonna be 10 of them. Always try to replace brand new head bolts when you replace the head gasket. So now those 10, 15 millimeters are removed. Now we're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, five, ten millimeters. It goes on the side of the head, and now we can remove the head. Now we're gonna remove the lifter holder with the eight millimeter socket. Only two bolts, one, two. And to remove it, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to remove all the oil pen bolts. 10 millimeter. Now to remove the pickup tube for the oil pump, we're gonna remove two bolts, 13 millimeters. And we can remove this 10 millimeters right here with the crankshaft cup. 
crankshaft holder. Now we can remove the four bolts from the oil pump, 13 millimeters. Now we can remove the, cra the uh, camshaft sprocket with the 15 millimeter socket. That one right there, 15 millimeter. Now we're gonna remove the timing chain tensioner with a 13 millimeter bolt. Now we can start removing the pistons the piston connecting rod we're gonna uh, need a 10 millimeter it's gonna be two every time you remove a uh, connecting rod you're gonna you're gonna remove it put them on the side you have to make sure which position is going and we on which piston it goes so you're gonna get the, the rod cap you're gonna put them on the side remove the piston and put it back in I'll show you right now you take one take the piston put it back in Each connecting rod on their cup, they're unique. So each one has their own rod. And then, you see these little grooves here? Those oil grooves, the grooves for the metal. This one has to be pointed on this one right here. You see groove and grooves. So you're gonna put it this way. See grooves and grooves? You put it this way right there. That's how it goes. See right there, grooves. Let's go ahead and remove the other ones.
All right, now to remove the crankshaft caps, we're gonna need a 50 millimeter short and 150 millimeter long. Let's start over there. Now when you remove the, the crunch up tops, cups, make sure you don't mix them. Just put them in order. So one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. On any engine, on this one, just make sure it's gonna go in the order, you're gonna remove it if you don't mark them. So watch how I'm gonna put them apart. Okay. So the fail on this one is the piston rings. They got stuck, piston rings. And then all the confusion on this one, the um the metal on this one is supposed to look this like this one right here. Let's see this one is worn out. So this is trash with the connecting rod. This is for the mains. It's good, good, it's trash. Let's see how the camshaft look, crankshaft. Crankshaft that looks alright, but one of them is marked, so we're gonna have to clean it. We're gonna polish it first, and uh, now clean it, see the measurements, and see if this one makes it. And we're gonna cut it. Uh, we're gonna border into the next size. Surprisingly, the heads are good because the seats on these ones are really horrible, but they're holding in there. They're pretty good. So yeah, ready to clean. Get the parts.